If you're still using ChatGPT for architectural image generations, then you might be missing out. With the latest version of Flux Context released in May 2025, this platform offers even more refined control over materiality, lighting, and design intent. But how does it compare to the versatile image generation capabilities of ChatGPT, especially when it comes to architectural workflows and practical day-to-day -day scenarios? So in this video, we are diving into a head-to-head -head comparison between these two powerful AI platforms under 10 different use cases and I will let you decide which platform works better. I'm Salman, an architect and illustrator. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification. So let's get started. Flux Context currently comes with a free trial of 200 image credits and can be accessed through playground.bfl.ai. The link is provided in the description. Each image generation will take 4 credits in the Pro mode and 8 credits in the Max mode. Number 1 is Text to Image. We will be using the same image prompt in both these platforms and see what it creates. We will be creating an A-frame cabin in a forest scene and this is a prompt that we'll be using. Let's start with ChatGPT. As you might have seen, ChatGPT takes about a minute or two to generate an image. And that again depends on the complexity of the image and the prompt that we provide. This is a great looking image and it has ticked the boxes and using all the prompts that we provided. You can see that the cabin is in focus and all the trees on the left and right side are slightly blurry. I really like the play of light in this image. There is an issue with the materials on the roof of the structure and they appear broken. Let's now jump into Flux Context. If you're using this platform for the very first time, this is how it looks. It's pretty simple with this interface. You can add your prompt in this dialog box, choose some different Flux models, adjust the image settings from the drop-down and you're ready to go. Let's paste the same exact prompt in Flux Context and generate the image. The very first thing that we'll notice in these images is the composition. We can see that the camera is zoomed out and shows the entire context of the scene along with the cabin. There's great work in showing the details of the furniture inside the cabin which was slightly missing in ChatGPT. These look more cinematic and these are kind of the results you will get when you render an actual 3D model in the same environment. I also think these are more architecturally accurate considering the scale of the structure, the furnitures and the openings. So I would pick Flux Context in this case. Number 2 is Cultural or Regional Context. How do both these platforms perform based on a very specific regional prompt? We'll be providing a prompt to create a South Indian temple architecture in a style called Dravidian. Let's paste the detailed prompt in ChatGPT and in just about 2 minutes we have the result. This scene reminds me of a few South Indian temples that I've actually visited. It has this warm golden lighting that highlights the intricate stone carvings and brings out the temple's rich texture. You don't really see the exact sculptures but we get a sense of intricacy and detailing. The human figures and the clothing is also culturally accurate. Let's use the same exact prompt in Flux Context and we have three results. These images here showcase the temple's grandeur but it feels a bit more dramatic. The lighting is softer and more diffused and it gives the temple a timeless and serene quality. The angle of the image focuses on the symmetry and the depth in the architecture. It kind of like draws your eyes into the depth of the courtyard. In terms of the cultural accuracy, this seems like a mix of multiple styles from South India and a few elements from North India as well. For instance, these domes right here, they don't really exist predominantly in South Indian architecture, especially Dravidian, but they are more prominent as you move towards Central and North India. And even in case of these architectural humans right here, they remind me of people from North India than from the South. So in terms of cultural context, ChatGPT stands out. Number 3 is Sketch to Realistic Image. This is one of the most common use cases of AI in architecture. We'll be using this sketch of a tower and try it in both these platforms to compare the results. Let's add the image and paste the prompt in ChatGPT. Does this stay true to the original sketch and the prompt that we provided? It definitely does. The tower has a lot more vertical presence in the original sketch, whereas in this ChatGPT image, it kind of looks more shorter. The sketch has a three-point perspective and the tower appears smaller towards the top, whereas in this image, it looks strictly in two-point perspective. A lot of horizontal elements in the tower sketch has been altered in the image, but in terms of the context and surrounding, it has retained the true nature. If ChatGPT had retained the elements of the tower, then this would have been a great image. Let's use the same sketch and prompt in Flux Context. And it was surprising to see that this platform did not give me the exact results. These are definitely great looking images and it has some very well-defined elements in the facade. The elements look strong and they don't really appear conceptual. The scale of the structures also look a lot better from the previous image. These are the kind of images that an architectural visualization studio would produce. Notice the life happening around the structure and we see a busy road in all the images. 
the structures around the main building have also been detailed and the image composition in all the results looks stunning. All that said, this definitely doesn't follow the base sketch that we provided, so it still falls short in that aspect. But in terms of composition and context, this platform stands out. Number 4. Changing the mood or environment of an image For this case, we'll be using this render by Stanislaw on Behance and try changing the environment. Let's upload the image in ChatGPT and ask it to change the scene into a night view. We'll have to mention the prompt of retaining the original resolution in case you don't want AI to make it into a square image. Because ChatGPT usually creates square images by default. We have the results and the power of AI never fails to amaze me. This has created artificial driveway lights along the road and on the slope. Also notice the tail lights on the car and the front light. The building structure is nicely illuminated and it has not made much changes in the elements. We definitely need to explore this further. So I uploaded the image once again and tried changing this into a rainy view. The scene turned out really fascinating. Notice the tail lights of the car this time and the reflection it has made on the ground. Even the vegetation appears to be drooping down because of the wetness of the rain. The building elements are retained well except for few areas. We cannot stop there. Let's jump in and create a winter scene with snow. This was really fascinating. We have snowfall on all the elements of the image and there is also a sense of direction in the way snow has fallen on these elements. Let's now try the same three environmental effects in flux context. The night view created here feels a little more dramatic and it has a kind of a cinematic feel to it. Only the main structure of the building is illuminated and we don't see any additional lights around the structure. As for the rainy view, this feels a lot realistic than the image from ChatGPT. That is probably because of the realism of the environment. As for the results with snow, it looks really good as well. Flux context doesn't just affect the elements in the image, but it works on the overall quality of the image. We can notice that the color temperature and the atmosphere of the image has also been adjusted. And that is why it appears a lot more real and cinematic. Both the platforms have performed well in this case, and it's a matter of personal preference. And my pick would be Flux Context. Number 5 is Flow Plan Rendering. This is another use case that many architects and designers are eager to try. Let's see if it's ChatGPT or Flux Context. I started off with a very simple flow plan in ChatGPT and described the prompts to see what it creates. The main issue with flow plan rendering is the AI softwares keep changing elements in the flow plan. In this case, we see that everything is accurate as per the drawing. This looks like a quick and fun rendering created with soft pastel colors. This can be ideal if you want to add colors to your drawing on the go. Let's now look at the same results in flux context and here's where you'll notice something. Flux context always works in perspective and it always tends to add depth and perspective into any image that we provide. We saw the same in the previous example and in this one, the flow plan has been generated as a 3D model. This is not exactly what we're trying to do with the prompt, but this can open a lot of possibilities. It's fascinating to see that Flux Context is able to take your 2D drawing and create heights to different elements in the flow plan. Now what about creating larger flow plans? I tried doing the same with another flow plan and these were the results from ChatGPT and Flux Context. I mean, we cannot say which is right or wrong, but it depends on the context to which you're using it. ChatGPT maintains the 2D quality of the drawing, whereas Flux Context has reinterpreted a lot of elements in 3D. Comment down below which of these would you prefer. Number 6 is Mood Board to Perspective I've used a simple image of a mood board that I found on Pinterest and I've displayed the prompt to create a master bathroom using elements in the mood board. The result on ChatGPT looks good, but I wouldn't say it's great. The scale and textures of the elements look great, but the framing and realism of the image looks off. This can still be a good image if you want to quickly visualize elements in your design, and it can be better if you rework the prompts as well. Let's try using the same exact prompt and image in Flux Context. If you didn't notice already, Flux Context just takes about 10 to 12 seconds to create any kind of image, regardless of the prompt and details. Now this is what I meant by image composition. You get a sense of the space and elements in these kind of compositions. And this is the framing that we use when we render a 3D model similar to this. In terms of functionality, it might not be very accurate because why would anyone want to have two wash basins right next to each other? But in terms of the composition, the materials and the elements used, this looks far better from the image in ChatGPT. And you can also edit elements in the image using the Edit tab. You can simply describe what you want to change or add in the image and it will regenerate the image. You can do the same with ChatGPT as well, but it still falls short in the way elements are put together. So in this case, my pick would be Flux Context. Number 7. Removing Objects from a Scene Let's upload this image which is a corner of a cafe and try removing the furnitures in this scene. 
The image on ChatGPT looks good and it has done a great job in removing the furniture which was overlapping the plant on the background. We can see that all the textures and colors are retained as it is with only a slight alteration. We have a pattern on the wall on the original image and it's missing in this image. Let's try doing the same with Flux Context. Upload the image, use the same prompt and click Generate. This looks quite closer to the original image and it has retained the pattern on the wall as well. The temperature of the image and the scene looks accurate to the original one and it carries a lot more realism. So once again, Flux Context outshines here. Number 8. Changing the perspective of an image Now this one is really fascinating. You can use an image and change its perspective using both these platforms. Let's try and compare. I'll be using this image of a seating in a cafe. It's an aerial view and it kind of shows the context of what is happening around the cafe. Let's add it inside ChatGPT and describe to create this image from an eye level perspective. Let's also ask ChatGPT to add human figures into the scene. We have the result from ChatGPT and the image shows a few seating on the far end of the scene. I definitely have a problem with the scale of the objects in the scene and the way these human figures are seated looks off. But this is still a good effort in trying to change change the view of an image in ChatGPT. Let's jump in and try the same in Flux Context. I've used the same exact prompt and the base image and this is what it created. This looks a lot more natural than the previous example. The furniture arrangement is definitely off in this example as well but the composition and the elements put together adds more realism to the scene. This shows a sense of space than only focusing on the furniture. So it's Flux Context once again taking the lead. Number 9 is Material Swapping. I'll be using this image of an actual project. Let's try changing certain elements in the scene. The ceiling becomes red, the furniture becomes red and the wooden backdrop changes into a stone textured beach paneling. The result on ChatGPT look good and it has retained the exact realism of the image. The furniture, ceiling and the backdrop have been changed. All the mentioned elements in the prompt have been changed except for the flooring. The material quality has also been retained in the furnitures. As for the results in Flux Context, using the same prompt and image, this kind of feels more realistic than the image from ChatGPT. The elements mentioned previously have been updated here and there is an attempt to change the flooring texture. The realism could be because of the depth and materiality that was previously missing in ChatGPT. In this case, Flux Context stands out. My choice here would be Flux Context. Number 10 is Urban Environment Context. For this last scenario, I have used an image of an empty site and have designed a prompt to create a housing complex in the site. We have an interesting result from ChatGPT. Firstly, there is an attempt to create an axis on the master plan. All the structures are arranged around an axis and there is a clear sense of hierarchy in the composition. We have multiple styles of building structures ranging from simple blocks on one side to more futuristic and multi-level buildings on the right side. This kind of looks like a conceptual image that can be taken and worked out better for good results. Let's now try the same in Flux Context. The result looked realistic in terms of the materials and elements, but considering the other ends to prompt, this looks really flat. We do not have a sense of futuristic elements that we included in the prompt and it looks like a regular housing complex that you see around the world. My assumption is that Flux Context uses actual images from the internet to create these generations, whereas ChatGPT kind of blends multiple images based on the prompt to generate a result. In this case, the obvious choice is ChatGPT. If you found this comparison to be helpful, leave a comment below which one you liked the most or which one surprised you. Both ChatGPT and Flux Context have their own strength and weakness and one might be better than the other depending on the context that you're using it in. As these tools continue to evolve, the way we visualize architecture becomes faster, intuitive and a lot more creative. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more such architectural content. You can follow me on Instagram and the handle is right here. Thank you for watching and keep designing smarter.